Okay, so I'm gonna uh, we're gonna finish off with a scapulothoracic, uh, and uh, it's a special joint, right? It's not true diarthroidal. It's not. Um, it's more of a functional joint. It's the scapula basically moving along the rib cage, um, and it's basically it's the subscapularis gliding over what? have a lot of motion here. There's six directions, elevation, depression, protraction, retraction, and then medial and lateral rotation. Right. Um, so we're going to do that. But with this, this we're going to actually combine, and this is like the only time we do, uh, pump with end feel. So we're going to take out the slack and we should feel a nice smooth gliding motion. We'll get to the end and we're going to spring spring. Special joint, special motion pump. So uh, patient positioning is special as well. Feet straight. I'm gonna, I need to clear her shoulder from the head piece. So I'm going to have you slide down towards your feet. Right about, no, no, not that much. Come up right about there. Okay. Because I know I'm going to go this way, and it's such a mobile joint, I don't want to hit her shoulder on the head piece. I'm going to have you slide down one more inch. Right there. Okay. Uh, the patient's hand is going to be put underneath their front hip pocket. And I'm going to bring it not that far. Bring it out right there. Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, got a little pocket. So, my hand contact is going to be stabilization hand. I'm going to cup, cup underneath the glenohumeral joint and, be, and pull the shoulder right off the table. What that does is it pops out the inferior angle and I can thumb web it. So, there's my start contacts. From there, I'm going to go into the motion. So, I'm going to start with elevation. So, let your shoulder relax. I'm going to elevate, spring, spring. And mostly it's this hand. Now, I'm going to depress. I'm going to pull down, spring, spring. It's mostly my superior hand. I'm going to start moving around the clav or the um, scapula. I'm going to come in here, watch my hands rotate, and come over here on the lateral side, and I'm going to go lateral to medial. Anything there? Point of discomfort? No. I'm going to come in here on the lateral side. I'm going to come across the other way. That would be medial to lateral, which would be protraction. <laughs> Finish off with the big twist. So let your shoulder relax. I'm going to lift her up. See how my hands move. There's the big... That would be what? Lateral rotation. Here's my medial rotation. And you can see, I mean, it's with a, you know, with a young person that's, you know, very elastic, there's a lot of motion there. So, you know, i got to take out a lot of the slack in order to get to the end before you actually test the tissues. Do the other <coughs> side, switch over. How'd that feel? Fine. Actually, it feels pretty good. This actually yeah. becomes the mobilization technique, at least one of them, for this joint region. So, pop the shoulder off the head, off the table. Thumb web, there's my elevation, here's my depression, here's my retraction, here's my protraction, here's my rotation. Rotation down, that would be which, what, which Medial direction? Rotation. Medial rotation, here's my lateral rotation. That's it. You know, is this useful for when you test all the other shoulder joints and they're fine and then the restriction could be, or the pain could be, 